Welcome to Wolves Weekly. I'm Barrett Henderson, the Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University, joined by uh, Head Coach Mike Johnson in charge of cross country and track and field here at Western Oregon. Mike, uh, it's already track and field season. We moved outdoor from cross country. We're headed into our indoor track. Yeah, well, we're a full service provider. <laughs> you know, we go pretty much August through June, and uh, if we get some summer meets in there, that's all the better. So every month we have a little competition available. So you had a little bit of a break there, holiday break. Uh, did you take advantage of those uh, 10 to 12 days there, a couple weeks? Sure. That gave us more time. We weren't here on campus all the time, but the phones worked. We were able to recruit a little bit. Uh, the athletes were all in touch asking what they should do for training. And uh, so everybody was out there taking advantage of that time. And I guess, is that rest? That, I guess so. No. Yeah, well, it's fun for us. The question everybody wants to know, did Mike Johnson get what he wanted for Christmas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a great Christmas. All it was right. a good Thanksgiving, a good Christmas. and um, But for us, you know, the Valentine's presents are good when the National Letter of Intents come back. Very true. So that's, you know, that's we want somebody to love us out there a little bit right now. Very true. Well, let's go ahead and talk. Uh, you're going to jump right in, indoor track and field beginning this uh, Saturday. Where are you at? Talk a little bit about the meet. Yeah, the meet is at the Dempsey uh, Center at the University of Washington. It's... Uh, you know, one of the better tracks in the nation, certainly for the middle distances and the field events. It's, uh, you know, it's an elite facility. We have, there are probably 40, 45 teams there, maybe, uh, you know, 14, 1,500 athletes, and hmm. a lot of work to get done. Uh, but we're, we're not taking the whole team to start with now. We're taking uh, just a good representative group, but uh, some other people are, you know, staying back in training and getting fitter for the future meets. Well, we'll talk about some of those individuals here in just a second, but uh, how about the field and some of the other uh, schools that will be participating? Well, you'll see a variety of uh, Big Sky, uh, Pac-12. Uh, oftentimes we get to, at the Washington meets, we'll get people from the East Coast. Uh, this, this first meet, used to, it's called the Washington Preview, and it used to be a smaller meet. And over time, the quality of competition at the facility has brought people in from around the country. So we'll usually see, uh, you know, a couple Big Ten teams or ACC or, uh, you know, some people out of the California, the Big West group, too. And uh, let's go ahead and highlight some of those individuals, maybe some key returners, key newcomers to the program. Well, you know, uh, key returners, I, I think, for the, uh, you know, for the women uh, in, the, in the jumps, you know, uh, Alexis Anderson has done a great job, sprinter uh, Maddie McClung, who's uh, certainly been a multi-time conference champion. Uh, Rebecca Leibel, again, in the triple jump. She had a uh, you know, national provisional qualifier last year. Uh, obviously, uh, Annie Wade joins us mm -hmm. out of the distances. And uh, then both men and women, we have our Javelins crew back, three of the four people that qualified uh, for nationals in that event uh, last year, as, you know, as, as well as some, you know, some of the guys that are you know, just quality people. Uh, Ryan Hansen's a former national qualifier. We have a group of guys that have been on, uh, you know, some relay teams that are at that level. Uh, again, the, the, the jumps are solid, uh, and uh, the sprints are coming along. So I, I guess we're trying to put a whole track team out there. Now, a lot of programs, uh, you know, they have indoor teams. Um, talk a little bit about the importance of having that indoor season as you, you get that training for outdoor. <laughs> well, this year, is great because we've changed the advancement to conference procedure and so we're able to use our people differently now indoor season so we're not only looking at the conference meet uh, in uh, i think the 21st 22nd of february uh, over in idaho we're also able to not have to train in the same fashion and work more towards the outdoor championships as well mm -hmm. i think it not only helps us but it helps the entire conference in the way we're able to prepare for the meets and uh, so this weekend, we're actually going to run some people out of event and some events that are not customarily around the championship level, like the 600 or the 1,000. And, and uh, it, it's, so it's, also, it's, not just, uh, it's not just great competition, but it's training for future competition. Well, I know here in Western Oregon, we love having indoor track because it's a little bit rainy right now outside. Not today. It's, it's kind of nice outside today. Well, yeah, I think it, particularly with our indoor facility, it provides us with uh, 
Did you see our indoor no, not our indoor you, you have you haven't been there we, yet. we enjoy our indoor season <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we, <laughs> we do we do like we do like to go yeah. up and yeah. get indoors and stay dry a little bit but the outdoor the weather's the weather's solid uh, we've had a good skein of weather we're doing just fine that's good well the, as you mentioned the great northwest athletic conference uh, recently recognized you know indoor track and field with a, with a, a championship event great uh, facility there in nampa at the uh, the johnson center there um, talk a little bit around the conference. Uh, obviously, Alaska Anchorage is a strong program once again. A lot of strong programs, and it depends on the, you know, the conference, uh, uh, you know, indoors. I think this is our 10th year now of uh, conference championships indoors. And uh, the conference is made up of a number of really strong programs, as was witnessed by uh, the people that we saw in cross country, those teams that qualified and did exceptionally well at uh, nationals. Uh, Seattle Pacific has uh, been a perennial uh, power with the women. Uh, we've been that way with the men. Uh, more recently now, the last year, uh, Western Washington's been very effective, but every school in the conference has uh, risen remarkably over that 10-year period, and the competition level just keeps rising as uh, many of the schools have recognized that track and field Brings a lot to their a lot to their university and put more money into the situation. I think I called it the Johnson Center. It's actually a Jackson Center. It's the Jackson Center at the Idaho. Uh, yeah. the Idaho yeah. Center. So there. every time there's I a little call gas. it Johnson Center because you own it. Well, I wish I, I remember when it was in its inception. But uh, <laughs> the uh, there a lot of I think a nickel of every gallon of gas. Not really, yeah. but uh, Jackson uh, has been very kind to the track and field community with that building of that center and the purchase of the track. Well, Mike, we appreciate you joining us today and uh, wish you the best this weekend and look forward to a great track season. Thanks so much.